This next technique is called glancing salute, or for Graham Lilliet, glancing salute. The glancing salute, the salute is of course a palm heel strike. The part where it glances is it's gonna glance off of his chin. This one has a bunch of um, great bonus strikes in there. It is a right push to my right shoulder, it's a cross push. What I'm gonna do on this technique, first of all I'm learning, whereas most of the time when someone pushes, we learn to go back. This one we are learning to match going in. With, with triggered salute, we matched going in with the right foot stepping to the inside. With glancing salute, we are going to match stepping to the outside. Well, we're not quite matching, but I mean we are stepping forward into the, into the strike, turning our shoulders, whereas normally we would move away. So the push comes in, we're just gonna run through it at medium speed. One, two, palm, choke, step. And we're going to do that. It's not the best job, so we can do that one again. Um, we can do the push comes. First thing we're going to do is they're going to step forward with your left foot, your left neutral bow. We're going to use it like we do in form four, which you don't know yet. We're going to do an inward strike, and an, um, we're going to do in towards yourself and away from you in a snapping motion. Make sure that you do not push and overextend. We don't want him, uh, your opponent, bent over like this. What you want is just a quick snap to the arm. From here, what I want you to do is take your left hand, contour down his arm, excuse me, contour down his arm, and we're gonna lock wrist to wrist across the other shoulder, the same way we did triggered salute to the same shoulder, this time we're gonna do to the opposite shoulder. We're gonna keep this arm trapped. There are other people who do it, and they trap the arm down here, that's, that's fine. Um, one of the things I like better about trapping it in is that there's no way that this hand is going to inadvertently, like if you miss, if you miss, it's going to get, it can get away from you this way, or you can get this way and it can get away from you this way. Th it's not gonna happen. I mean, it's not, um, it's not gonna happen if you have them pinned. They're not gonna swing their arm around in all likelihood. So from here, we're gonna pop, we're gonna contour this one in, we're gonna lock this wrist to wrist at an angle, but not, not a wide angle. We're gonna do almost, a, we're gonna do forward bow, it's gonna come almost straight in, just barely glancing across his chin enough to turn it, sliding the hand underneath, wrapping behind the head. Here, if you notice, using the forearm, we've got a nice little bonus choke. It's as similar as in, uh, of one of the, I believe it's Calming the Storm, where we've got the jerking action. We're basically gonna jerk him into the choke. It's not a big squeeze choking him out. It's a jerk kind of a thing. So from here, at the same time that we do that, we're gonna be pulling him in to the knee strike, to the groin. We're gonna step forward. Um, we're going to have, uh, moving the meat back, we're going to step into a right close kneel stance. And as you choke here and step, right hand drops, the knee is going to turn into a, a neutral bow as you smash the elbow through. Let's try that from the other side. Comes in this way, pin, striking here. The same time we strike, boom, we're going to shoot this one here at the same time. Wrapping around, getting that little choke in, jerk knee, elbow, stepping through. This hand comes down. We're gonna move this out at the same time that we smash the elbow over. This is the, the basic move that we want to have um, our yellow going to orange to work on. Um, the other one that uh, is an option is from there, uh, we're here, in, on heel, hook around, knee, and instead of stepping through, touch back down, make sure that your left foot is uh, at least is right about parallel with his right foot. We're going to bounce, come around, take the leg out and take him down. I'll show that bouncing down from the other side. Again, this is not for the yellow belts. They don't need to know this. This is just to play with later. So, got the push that's coming in. Snap. Palm. Hooking him in here with my elbow in tight, grabbing, striking, Whoa. knee, bounce, and here it comes around this way and I take him down. Now, this doesn't work if your foot's back here. If your foot is in front of his foot, you're going to be going way out here and you're going to be extending yourself. You want to make sure that your foot is right parallel with his so you can do that takedown. That is a kind of a bonus takedown that uh, advanced belts can work on. But the base move, break. Pin, palm, hook, heel, heel, hook around. Um, knee as you pull, and plant. And that is Long Sing Wing.